What is going on, Trash Talkers? We're back with another episode for you. Today's video, we're going to give you our top 10 quarterbacks halfway through the 2021 NFL season. All that and much more coming your way right now. Hey Trash Talkers, over 85% of you are still not subscribed to the channel. Please be sure to hit that red subscribe button and turn on notifications as it will help us create more daily content for you. Thank you and enjoy today's video. All right, Nick, we are halfway through the 2021 NFL season. I can't believe we're already in November talking about the halfway point of the season. It just seems so surreal, but nonetheless, we are at the halfway point and this is a good time to take a look back at kind of where we thought the league was going to be versus where it is now. And we start off with the rankings of the quarterbacks, specifically the top 10. Why don't you get us started with our number 10 quarterback? Who do you got? Yeah, surprise, surprise. We got Joe Burrow making his debut on this list. Joe Burrow having an incredible season. The connection between him and Jamar Chase truly is something special. They have rekindled that right from the get-go. It's like they were never separated at all. Joe Burrow has been doing it. Tremendous job with Joe Mixon in the backfield. T. Higgins and Tyler Boyd. These guys have been incredible. And then C.J. Uzama. Can't forget him as well. Joe Burrow has been going everywhere with the football. And everything he's doing seems to be dynamite. They were at the top of the AFC for a slight second. They got a taste of that. They fell back. Back to earth a little bit let's see if they can pick themselves back up in the second half under joe burrow at number nine we see justin herbert come into the mix justin herbert looking like an all pro in his second season obviously one of the best quarterbacks that we've seen in recent drafts really taking the chargers to the next level we've seen him especially under brandon staley becoming more of a better decision maker and just becoming an all-around better quarterback I love the decisions he's making with the ball we see Mike Williams getting involved in the passing game much more than he was previously and on top of that he's still got Keenan Allen he's still got Austin Eckler and he's used a lot he's utilizing the tight end position just as the Chargers have always done now with Jared Cook instead of Hunter Henry this offense has picked up where they left off last year they are still slinging it they are still torching defenses they're struggling right now but I expect that to change in the very near future Justin Herbert is your number nine quarterback at number eight we have Derek Carr who has had an incredible year with the Las Vegas Raiders. So many things have happened for the Las Vegas Raiders, and they have persevered through it all. This offense has been incredible. Darren Waller from the start has picked up where he left off. An incredible target for Derek Carr. But what Derek Carr has been able to do with the rotations at running back, with the rotations at wide receiver, the head coaching situation, and now the latest with Henry Ruggs, Derek Carr is persevering through it all. He's having an incredible year. It doesn't matter who's on the field. He's going to find you and he's going to hit you. He has been super accurate this year, super incredible. And he is a big part of why they have had so much success so far. I think that this is going to continue. Derek Carr is, is truly special and, and having a great year. And that's why he sits here at number eight. At number seven, we see Lamar Jackson enter the fray. Lamar Jackson, for what he is, is one of the best athletes at the quarterback position that we've ever seen. Not just in today's current NFL, but we're talking about past the Michael Vicks, past the Warren Moons. We're talking about the guys who could do it running and throwing the ball. Lamar Jackson has been more efficient this year than he has ever been in his career. We have seen new heights for passing yardage, as well as efficiency from his wide receivers. The additions of Sammy Watkins and Rashad Bateman cannot go unnoticed with Lamar Jackson. Even with all the injuries at the running back position, they have not stopped running the ball. They have not stopped utilizing Lamar Jackson as the dual threat that he is. He is an incredible athlete, and he deserves to be on this list, especially at number seven. At number six, we have Kyler Murray, who took the Cardinals all the way 
till week seven as the only undefeated team. Unfortunately, week eight, they did suffer their first loss, but the Arizona Cardinals were incredible because that offense was just unstoppable. When you have Kyler Murray at the helm with DeAndre Hopkins, AJ Green, Christian Kirk, and Rondell Moore, you know he's going to do incredible things. But he has turned some of these guys, Rondell Moore, Christian Kirk, into huge superstars this season. He is an incredible quarterback, able to make plays out of nothing. His ability to move in and out of the pocket and extend plays is something that only Kyler Murray is able to do. Without him, they would not have been able to be that only undefeated team in Week 7, and I think that they are ready to rebound in the second half off of that one loss. Next up at number 5, we have none other than Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott coming back from his horrific injury that he suffered last year. Really lighting the league on fire with the weapons that he has. No Michael Gallup. He's been doing it with Amari Cooper and CeeDee Lamb. Really getting the running backs involved, though, with Ezekiel Elliott and Tony Pollard really showing up on the stat sheet. He's got two tight ends to work with in Dalton Schultz and Blake Jarwin. The, the Cowboys have been super efficient. They have been able to dink and dunk when they've had to and take deep shots all across the field, across any defense, it doesn't matter. Outside of week one, the Dallas Cowboys have remained a top team in the NFL, and they almost beat the defending Super Bowl champions on ring ceremony night. So at the end of the day, Dak Prescott has led the Dallas Cowboys into incredible heights, and they are only going up from here. Dak Prescott had to miss a game, so he fell a little bit on our leaderboard here, but he could be a top three, possibly number one quarterback by the end of the season. At number four, we have Rams new acquisition Matthew Stafford, who's been killing it, lighting it up for the Los Angeles Rams. This offense completely looks revitalized. Cooper Cup is the best receiver in the league, and that's thanks to Matthew Stafford. Robert Woods has had an incredible season uh, in of his own, and that's because of Matthew Stafford. Everything great that has happened to the Los Angeles Rams this year is thanks to Matthew Stafford. The defense has not changed, but Matthew Stafford is the reason the offense has improved. He knows how to command an offense. He knows how to work with elite talent. He knows what to do in strenuous situations. He has completely reassured Sean McVay and the rest of this offense that he knows what he's doing. He is completely taking this team to another level, and that's why they are one of the best teams right now in the NFL. At number three, we see the reigning MVP, Aaron Rodgers, enter the mix. Aaron Rodgers has been doing it with anybody you throw at him. No Devontae Adams, no Alan Lazard, no Marquez Valdez-Scantling, doesn't matter. You give him Randall Cobb, wide receiver one, two touchdowns. You throw out some nobody off the street, I guarantee they'll have a touchdown and maybe 60, 70 yards receiving. This guy can do it. And he can do it with anyone. He is an incredible talent. And it, it pains me to say, because I'm not a big fan of Aaron Rodgers, but he is he is a, a great, great quarterback. One of the best all time. And he is not slowing down, especially in a year with all of the turmoil and all of the drama going into the year, not knowing how he was going to respond after everything that went on this offseason. Him and Matt LaFleur look like they are on the same page. They look like they are doing everything in sync and working together well. I really like Aaron Rodgers. The yardage may not be there, but the command of this offense and what he can do for a team, lifting them up after their only loss was in week one, is definitely something special. Aaron Rodgers, almost 1,900 yards passing, 17 touchdowns, only three interceptions on the season. Definitely it is something to look out for. Aaron Rodgers is number three on this list. And at number two, leading the AFC quarterbacks, we have Josh Allen, who has been on an incredible run with the Buffalo Bills. And surprisingly, Stephon Diggs isn't even the biggest wide receiving threat for the Buffalo Bills. That's just how good Josh Allen is playing. He's going around to Emmanuel Sanders, a first-time target. Cole Beasley, a second-year target. And he's really getting these guys involved. Gabe Davis, the second-year wideout. Incredible performance so far. Josh Allen knows what he's doing. Dawson... <laughs> Dawson Knox, geez, the list just goes on and on. But this is what Josh Allen is able to do. He can make new weapons out of anybody. He is growing before our eyes. He is 
one of the best quarterbacks that you can find in the NFL. His ability to throw the ball accurately with a ton of power down the field is something you don't come across too often. But his ability to bulldoze over linebackers with his size and strength in the run game is just something no one else can do. Josh Allen is truly one of a kind, and there really is no other quarterback in the AFC that can touch him. And at number one, you know who it is, father time himself, Tom Brady. Yes, Thomas Edward Patrick Brady is our number one quarterback halfway through the season. And and listen, you can say everything that he's got all the weapons and he's got all the players. They have dealt with their fair share of adversity with the with the Buccaneers. Mike Evans has not been the same. Chris Godwin has been spotty. Antonio Brown's been in and out of the lineup. Rob Gronkowski has not been there. The running game is spotty at best. And, you know, with all of the talent surrounding this team, you would expect them to be exactly where they are. But they have dealt with so many issues that Tom Brady is the constant that has kept them above water week in and week out. Tom Brady leading the league with 2,650 yards, 25 passing touchdowns to only five interceptions, and 39 rush yards and a touchdown to boot. He is doing it all. He is the dual threat quarterback that we all know and love. But Tom Brady in Tampa Bay with all the weapons down there, he is our number one quarterback halfway through the NFL season. Yeah, Tom Brady is absolutely incredible. And him doing it at his age is just otherworldly. You do not see this in any other sport. That's why Tom Brady might not just be the best football player of all time. He might be one of the best athletes of all time. All right, well, I want to hear from you guys. Let us know in the comments down below what you think of our list. Who did we snub? Who do you think should have entered the top 10? And if you think we left somebody off, tell us who you wanted to take off this list because I won't accept anybody on the list without taking somebody off. All right, well, let us know in the comments down below what you think. That'll be all for now. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell. We go live every single day. That'll be all. Peace and love.